Aren't managers basically gods at work? <laughs> uh, newsflash. Welcome to the channel, Leadership with Mike. On this channel, I help new managers become better leaders, and I do that with no nonsense sense, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Now, come on, let's think about this. You're new, you've just been hired, and you look at your manager, and it's like, they run stuff. They have it all together. But here's the thing. Managers, they're just people. Managers, they have the same problems you have. Whether it be kids, money, relationships, car problems. Sometimes we look at our managers, our bosses, and we think they've really got it together. But what we really need to do is we need to step back and not put people on pedestals where they really shouldn't be. Now, I want to make this clear. This isn't to crap on managers. What this is, is to help you understand that your manager, your boss, they're just a person. They get the same respect and the same courtesies that everybody else does. Because here's the funny thing that happened in my life in case you want to know what's going on in this guy's life. Managers that I've had, managers that I've worked with, after the pandemic, they all were unemployed. Now, one would think, well, you're a manager. You're just going to jump right into another management role. For most, it didn't happen. For most, they have what we'll call regular jobs, where there's minimal authority, where there's Nobody looking up to them because they're the boss. Now, where does this become a problem? It becomes a problem where you were a manager and you thought you had it all together, but you weren't a leader. You see the difference? Because there's always, a, you know, you're Googling manager, leader, manager, leader, leader, manager. The difference is if you hold the respect and the authority when you do not have the title. That was, it has been very eye-opening for me because, again, people that I see as leaders, I still see them that way, regardless of their title. And people that I saw as managers, well, things have changed and not necessarily for the better outside looking in. I pray that they're happy. I pray that they're getting what they need, uh, you know. But going back to a leader leads, not just at work, but a leader can have, listen, you may be a little bit younger than me. And I know that might be hard to believe, but when you look at people, understand this. When you feel like you don't have shit together, you're not the only one. The ones though, who have a leadership mentality, meaning they have the respect of people. People will listen when they talk. They tend to be just a, a few steps ahead. So when they get hit, it's not quite as damaging. So that's why I'm always telling you guys, let's be leaders, helping new managers become better leaders because being a manager is the same as any other job. Being a leader is what you're developing into. You're learning things. You're learning how to gain respect of your team. You're learning how to earn their trust. You're learning that respect and trust is something that you can give your team right away. They don't, they don't have to earn yours. It's learning how to delegate. Let me plug in the description below. I have a new course on delegation. It helps you go from, I don't even know what delegation is, to what can I delegate? What should I not delegate? Who should I delegate it to? If you've had these questions and you want to go from manager to leader, check the description. For the next few weeks, there's a discount code 55% off because I need to get some people in it. I need to get the feedback. And if you threw a testimonial my way, I mean, I'm not going to turn it down. But back to what a leader does. A leader is able to see the big 
picture. A leader is able to not get too excited about the mundane, the day-to-day -day stuff that's going on or going wrong. They see the big picture. They have the plan. They're able to be cool and collective. And they're able to get their team to come together and work together for the common good. A manager can just dictate what's happening. You need to do this and you need to do that. And there's nothing wrong with being a manager but there's also nothing helping you move to that next level. Leaders get knocked down, they don't stay down. But when you have a job, and your job could be dishwasher, your job could be accountant, your job could be manager, it's a little harder to get up because there's a mindset, there's an inner aura, let's call it, of a leader. Again, the goal is to be a manager but develop to the leader. That's my rant today. I don't know what got into me. I went for a bike ride, this is what came out. So I'm gonna get my coffee, get yours, and let's go to the next video. Ciao.